Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to add and remove column from our database table using migrations. So let's see, uh, in this tutorial, we will rename a column name and we also use after and we also see rule back. So let's see. So first, uh, in previous tutorial, I think you, uh, you noticed that when we added uh, first name and age and these fields has added after this updated field. So let's see. Let's check it again. So I'm just going in Phoenix log and removing this add a first name to students. This track from here because otherwise it will not execute. So I'm just going in students table. So there is nothing. And just opening my source file and you can see the add a first name and this uh, two students. So there's the change method and add column A's and first name. So this migration file I have created in my previous tutorial. So let's execute this again. So I'm here, I'm just typing CAC back migration and migrate. Then hit on enter. Oh, CAC migration migrate, sorry. Migration and migrate. Not back. So hit on enter if you go and you can see this age and first name added after this updated it so if you want to you add this age and first name after the country field or country column then how you can do so let's see this example i'm going to here and i'm updating this uh, uh this add column method and you can see there has added two parameter. One is called field name, uh, another is a type, and this is the option that is actually SQL option. So you can add here after. So after and give the name of your column. So I'm using the country name. Country, this is the column name. I want to add this age and first name after the country. So I'm, I have given this here and after and I'm copy this line and paste it in here. And then after save, I'm going to remove this uh, age and first name from here. And also removing this Phoenix log. It's not a good practice. You, ha uh, uh, you have to use the rule back in here, but I will give the rule back example in here. So I'm just going to manually delete, okay, save. So now, if you execute this uh, command again, let's see you table first. So this is our ta student's table. And you can see there is no any field called A's and first name. So let's execute again. Check migrations migrate. Hit on enter. Go in here. See now this first name and A is added after this country column. So let's see the next tutorial, next part of this tutorial that will be rename our column name. So for rename our column name, I will create a new migration file. So I'm just going to create a new migration file. CAC back migration, rename, first name, to last name uh, from, the name of my table. So my table name is students. It's just a class name. You can reduce the name. I've just uh, given a meaningful name because uh, this name will be saved in my Phoenix blog. So when I will change anything, the when will uh, I will see this name. So I will understand that what I have actually changed. So that's why I use this meaningful name. So after hit on enter, so a migration file has been created in here. So you can see simple migration file has created, a class has been created, and also a method has created called changes. So if you go in documentation, you will see there is no any clue to change your column or to change, to rename your column. Uh, there is no any documentation. But if you get, if you go in here, this is the overview. And if you go down, 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 here is the creating migration. And here is the option called Phoenix documentation. So if you click on here, so this is the Phoenix documentation. In here, in this contents, space contents, you can see every option in here. For example, you want to 
uh, want to drop a table, renaming a table, change the primary key, change the table comment, everything is here. So you can follow this documentation. So I will just give this uh, link in my video description so you can go in here. So let's go in renaming a table column. So you can see a simple documentation in here they have mentioned and this is the class a class name and you can see they have used two method one is called up, up and another is called down this up method will execute when you will execute the migration file and this down method will execute when you will rule back so this down method actually the opposite of your up method okay let's give me an example to make it clear okay so I'm just going to copy this uh, whole bunch of code from here and I will paste it in here. And this is the up method and this is the down method. I'm just going to comment this now. This is a temporary, I'm temporary, I'm just commenting this uh, method and I'm going in here and changing the table name, call students in here and giving the rename column, the first one, which name I want to change. So my, I, will, I, will, I will change the first name first name and it will be the last name okay then if you execute this it will actually not change because I we have to use another method it's not actually uh, mentioned in uh, documentation but if you go down you can see they have mentioned in here so you have to this use this update in here so I'm just giving this update in here so now after save same thing I'm doing for my commenting in here so let's go in here and go in my table college students and you can see it's the first name will be changed to last last name so go in here and give the command called hack migration migrate and hit on it so you can see migration has uh, executed and if you go in here first name has changed to last name it's good now you think that okay I will I will not change my first name and I will rule back this uh, last uh, comment. So how you can do? So if you think, okay, I will go in here and I will use this uh, CAC migration rule back. Uh, uh, uh. So this is the comment, CAC migration rule back. And it will actually uh, commit, uh, rule back your last comment. That means uh, what the last change you had did. Uh, so if you hit on enter, then you can see it's actually not happened. Uh, they have given a call, uh, they have given an exception that called call to undefined method uh, down. So this down will actually execute when you will uh, use it when you will uh, rule back your migration migration. So I'm just changing now. I'm just changing this to students, and I already told this down will be opposite of your app. So I'm just changing this first name and it will be here. That will be opposite. This last name will be here. Okay. So now save it again. Go in here and write this rule back again. This CAC migration rule back. Hit on enter. So now go in here. Now you can see it has rule back. So this is the most important thing that uh, I discussed in this tutorial and there is lots of options in migrations documentation, this is the Phoenix documentation in here and it's not possible to give the tutorial on every content in here. I think you are able to see this um, documentation and uh, we are already able to do all basic uh, things in migration. For example, we are able to create our migration file we are able to um, add column, we are able to add table, we are able to remove column, we also able to rename column, and uh, we also rule back our, rule back our uh, uh, migration file. So this is the rule back that I have used for the last, um, rule back the last migration. But if you have, if you want to uh, change uh, specifically, you want to, uh, you want to rule back your specific uh, migration, then you can use this tag, this T, and then space. You can use uh, this Phoenix log. You can use this version name. 
so like this like here you can use this like the comment so thank you for watching this tutorial this is the last tutorial on migration welcome for the next plugin tutorial on cac php